Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over another recent interview with Jeremy Pearson that was also hosted by the people over at the Arena. This interview took place on March 9th, 2024, and I was invited to join the discussion. I want to thank Ash, who is one of the server admins for the V Arena Discord, for inviting me on to ask Jeremy some questions. I would also like to thank the rest of the admins for helping to host the interview and the stream during which the interview took place. I would also like to thank Grimix V for joining us and asking some awesome questions as well. Before we get started, I just want to thank you guys for submitting your hypothetical questions for Jeremy in the comments sections of my last few videos. At the time I asked for V back, I didn't know I would actually be asking him questions myself. So in a way, you guys are probably just as surprised as I was. This video is going to have two parts. Part one will be PVE questions, and most of them questions that you guys asked. And part two will be PVP questions. All right, let's get into the interview. It was mentioned that we're getting more customization options for our vampire. Are we also getting customization options for our horses as well? So like, for example, things like color, saddle customization, uh, hairstyles, stuff like that for your horse? Uh, mm, not really, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I will say that that is actually a pretty popular idea, especially with the artists. Uh, we have been for a very long time talking about different different ways you could customize your mount, uh, things you could add, different like barding, um, also different types of mounts, and also, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the main issue with different types of mounts is that uh, a lot of the things that you could make into a different kind of mount would feel really weird if it doesn't have some sort of ability tied to it. Like... I would love to ride a giant spider so much more than anything in the world. Uh, but if you were riding a giant spider and that spider can't do any like spider things, it'd be kind of weird uh, and feel kind of, and it would actually kind of ruin the mood a little bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, when it comes to horse customization, not yet, but I think that's something that we would be like open to doing in the future very much. Can we have the option to add our own character portraits on the paintings or new custom wallpapers to the game via the Ooh. Steam Workshop? Ooh, uh, this is actually something that would be really cool that we have talked about wanting to potentially do. It's one of those things that it's like, do, doing doing that opens up a lot of potential for some real weird stuff mm -hmm. uh but um yeah i i guess i would have to talk to tech and art to see like how they feel about that uh right now because we talked about in the past and then we're like ah, i don't really think we have time for this and sort of uh put on the back burner if you're um, looking for like a reference to like the kind of thing that i mean like uh, a good example this would be like uh well this game isn't a survival game but Two Point Hospital, like it's like a mm -hmm. management sim, but in that game you can upload like wallpapers and like custom stuff uh, that you can add as like furniture items and things like that in the game to decorate. So that's yeah. kind of like the thought process I had when I when I was we asking had, this question. In ancient times, there was a concept art for an actual like painting, like easel, um, like work workstation. Uh, that I think the intention was to be able to give you the ability to actually like paint other vampires. Like it would just like take their customization and, and like produce a painting of it. I think it got scrapped for various reasons, but like, yeah, that idea has been floating around. Will the new area have an environmental hazard similar to the Curse of the Cursed Forest or the lightning in Northern Gloomrot? Uh, I don't think so, at least not in the same way, but more on that. <laughs> in the next vlog. Can we at least give servants a patrol or stay in place function? Uh, not in this patch, but it's definitely so uh, we have talked about like wanting to do more stuff with servants. Uh, this is definitely not like our ideal implementation of them the way they are now. Uh, just lots of things to add more life to the castle would be really cool with them. Uh, also, just little things like, you know, them being able to recognize when you go past them, stop and like salute you or react in some sort of way. Maybe you want them to cower when you walk by. I don't know. Fun stuff. Uh, yeah, we've talked about all sorts of like little things like that we think would be cool. You know, things like just them idling around your place and passively gathering wood and stone and stuff for you. Uh, these are all things that would be really cool and things we are thinking about uh, that won't make it this 
patch. I don't know if they'll make it in the next patch either, but uh, th there is the desire to do that. Uh, one thing is like one, I guess, kind of curse of being a smaller team. Uh, there's a lot of great things about being a smaller team, like the way that we can work together, I think is a lot closer and a lot nicer. Uh, where we can be much more aware of each other than larger teams can typically with a lot less like management overhead. <laughs> uh, and there's like a, a lot of people being able to really put themselves into the work. That's that's really awesome. But uh, there are issues that I think every game dev team runs into where it's just like so many amazing ideas, so many things you want to do to bring the game to life. And you're constantly asking your question like, okay, is this idea better and timely enough to implement compared to the other next idea because we have so many that it's like every time you get something it's like this is cool but then what do i have to sacrifice to make this happen because there's always some other really awesome idea that you have to kill uh it's very sad we already know that we're going to be able to sit soon are you also going to allow items to be placed on tables um that's actually a very good question <laughs> It's an idea that we are definitely talking about. I don't know if it's something we'll be able to implement. Uh, we are talking about a lot of like possible new decorations and stuff like that. Uh, I think modular tables, like modular, like here's a table. Okay, I can put, um, I think it'd be a huge pain to be like, okay, I'm going to put a vase on this table. I'm going to put a book on this table. But to have like, here's a table, here's my war table. And then you just like slot like much in the same way that we did that modular thing where you can put flowers in like pots. If you could put like, here's my pile of war maps with a dagger sticking in the middle and and like a globe, or like I can put like my necromancy stuff or my alchemy supplies or something on it. Uh, that's an idea we've talked about. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to implement it or if we can just implement tables that already have those things on them. That's an option. Uh, but. Uh, race against time. <laughs> How much of this stuff can we fit in? Uh, I was gonna, so yeah. Can I follow up to that question? Can I grab mm -hmm. the table and throw it at someone raiding me? Uh, not yet, but um, I will do everything in my power to. Could I throw those chairs that I cannot sit on at their face or something like? Can I can I do anything with the furniture to use them for raid other than like blocking attacks? Is that something you would consider? Sorry, uh, that, since we're on the topic. I love yeah. that question. Yeah, I think it's a great question. Uh, I would love nothing more than to give you the ability to throw chairs at other players. Okay. I think it I would mean, also it... be great in PvE. Like, it, you just the ability to dramatically throw a chair across the room, I think would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, firstly, let's sit on chairs, and then we can discuss about throwing the chairs. But okay, yeah, anyway, Shoulder, back to you. So, like, uh, you know how now, um, you know, it's been revealed that we'll have, a, you know, the ability to move our castles? Um, is that something we're going to be able to disable via game settings? So, so uh, Jeremy, basically, yeah. if you're, uh, to, to explain to you the context of the question, the context of the question is, you know how you can just set up your server settings as you please if you're an admin, right? If I'm starting yes. a private server. So similar to how I can set the number of tiles, the number of floors, et cetera, could I also enable or disable the option to move castles? Ah, as an admin, um, yeah. I don't know if there's a setting for that now but i could suggest make a suggestion there is um there are some new settings and uh we are i think reworking the way we display those and how you set that up uh because we want it to be simpler to understand how to actually set up a server uh let's see I don't see one right now, but I can suggest it. Okay. It's just it's just because like it gives admins, you know, the ability to do whatever they want. If they yeah, want I think uh, the more settings available, the better. So because yeah. uh, there are a lot of things uh, we do. So I think personally, um, this isn't really personal. I think that I think we all think this in the studio for the most part. Um, but we we do just think that. Uh, private servers and the ability to modify your servers and the ability to like choose your own settings uh, is such a powerful tool uh and and mass like players are going to figure out um better ways to to like put these servers together than we are and mass also with just mm -hmm. different goals like you're going to be able to serve more niche communities and also mm -hmm. 
in general, I think you guys are always going to be on the forefront of making uh, more fun, more more adaptable experiences than we are. Um, yeah, I mean, just to, just to be honest, it's also not because like the players are better at it, or it's just it's a lot of trial and error, right? Because like absolutely. we just we just like do one setting and then we change it and then we change it another time and another time until we feel something is comfortable with, right? Uh, yeah, but yeah, I anyway. know. Cool. And like, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna mince words here. Like, you guys are in the game more than we are. Like, uh, we like in terms of like actually playing it with each other. Like, yeah. you have more experience, like, meta-wise than we do. And you're going mm-hmm. to be adapting and changing faster than we are. In a lot of ways, you have a more in-depth understanding of it than we do, which is why we make such an effort to read feedback and, like, understand, try to understand where you guys are coming from. Yeah. Um, I'm spending a lot of time just, <laughs> like, reading what you guys are saying and uh, translating that to, the, um, to, like, the team internally. And mm-hmm. then, in turn, like, taking what they say and trying to bring it back to you. Like, this, my, my job goes both ways, like, 100%. Uh, so everything you guys are trying and everything you're doing uh, is like really useful for us. And the more settings we give you to play with that, uh, the better. So yeah, so you're uh, not... in general, we're in favor of offering more settings to give you like more ways to to like okay. modify the experience. So that includes okay. almost definitely castle teleportation, most likely. Mm-hmm. Would you consider adding more quality of life features such as uh, like stash or like a universal access to loot? on a castle territory so like for example um like a recent game that came out pal world right another survival game Mm -hmm. you can pretty much access anything in the in the uh inventory as long as you have it at your base um are we going to get something kind of like that when we're interacting with like crafting tables and things like that that's a good question and one i get a lot uh there is so there's this kind of push and pull with like uh we've talked about we talked about this a little bit earlier but like intentionality when it comes to um your game design right like there's a lot of different solutions to different issues and uh one of them is what is the frustration of dealing with your inventory and dealing with crafting and like choosing how to craft and and like moving your stuff around and keeping track of where your stuff even is and uh how much of that is actually fun to do um Mm -hmm. because for some people it's just like not fun at all and i completely understand that (laughs) i i sometimes enjoy that uh but at the same time there's a sort of like total disengagement with running into your base and just having a bunch of random uh just boxes and you just go to the box you dump everything you own inside the box and you just walk off and then you walk off to your uh your your uh, crafting station you hit that and it just crafts uh for one thing that would be really difficult to do with the way refinement works because refinement you don't like choose to actively craft something it just sort of crafts Mm -hmm. uh but uh what we are doing is we're not doing craft from stash uh but we are adding a a lot of quality of life stuff around crafting to find a a sort of better middle ground. Uh, There is one thing that I saw almost nobody mention, except for you, I think, Uh, is that in the what is my favorite screenshot, which was the vampire shrugging in front of all the slime, Mm -hmm. uh, that that is a new storage container uh, behind him. That's what I was Uh, wondering. I was wondering if that was like specific to any kind of uh, material or something like that when I saw that initially. But I didn't comment on that because that hasn't been the case so far. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, So we are adding like uh, new types of stashes uh, that are going to be better for certain types of loot and also make it easier and like faster. Like if you have a certain container, for instance, that's only for one sort of loot. Uh, you just hit the button and it automatically dumps everything of that sort into that box. Uh, And it allows you to on-site immediately know where all that stuff is going to be. You're just like walking by, you're like, where are my herbs? It's probably in the big herb thing that's got herbs spilling out of it. Uh, And also, there's going to be a lot of huge improvements to the way crafting works uh, in the UI, uh, which includes like the ability to like... uh, pin like certain things uh to like pin a recipe so that you can go around and know what you need to get from your boxes instead of having to go back to check 50 times and 
uh, also things like if you have certain recipes highlighted in a crafting station, uh, it will highlight in your inventory where those are in your inventory. So you don't have to look for them. You just like see them and you click it. Or you just click the button, it just puts them straight in. So there's a lot of stuff to make that smoother without just making it completely just dump it and go. Uh, hopefully people enjoy that Metal Ground more. Um, we'll see. Will you be adding major changes to castle building? So like, for example, like spiral staircases. So how I would imagine this working is that instead of taking up three spots of ground uh, to place the stairs, you would only take up one and it would just be a, like a narrow uh, vertical column uh, of just stairs. Like, is that something that could be implemented or that you guys have discussed? I have not heard a uh, discussion around a spiral staircase in that way to make it more narrow. Um, I certainly would like that, <laughs> personally, uh, but I'm not sure what other considerations are being made around that. Um, something I can ask about. Uh, I, I don't think if it were to happen, it would be in this patch, but um, yeah, I could talk about it. Something else I was kind of wondering about is uh, why is there no spider form? Why specific? Okay. We had. <laughs> they, there are people have been <laughs> asking us about arachnophobia mods. I'm one of those people. Forever. I'm not asking this and question. You're asking for me. About, and you're asking about asking about spider form. <laughs> yeah, I have someone who keeps asking me about it. They're like, "Why is there no spider form?" I the thing is, I have also been frequently <laughs> asked about spider form. I think it's fascinating because it seems like there's two very different camps that are both like. I would really like spider form. See, that's what server are like, settings are I for. I would love if you could skip all spiders <laughs> in this game. And I feel like adding spider form would be like the the most divisive thing we could possibly do. It would <laughs> not only <laughs> not only are there spiders and do you have to fight them for one of the one, one of the like biggest upgrades at one point in the game, but also you have to become a spider now. You have to turn into a spider. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm actually really scared of spiders. I, I'm asking that for someone else who keeps asking. So I was like, you know what? I have to ask the question. I can't just not ask. <laughs> um, well, it's, but yeah. I appreciate uh, that moment of self-sacrifice that you... But since we're talking and just for the chat, he might just end the interview because of this question right here. You know what's oh, coming. No. So are you adding are you adding gargoyle form, by the way? Ooh, That's a great question. That's a great question. Only yeah, asked like me about that. 16 times in the last month, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway. Are we going to answer that question or are we just going to ignore it? What? Just like you figured it out? Oh, oh, no, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I, was just, okay. I was just commenting on it. I was saying it was a great question. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Have you heard it ever before? Has it ever been asked? It's never been brought up to me, weirdly enough. Never. Nobody has ever never. brought it up to me literally every day no for one. the past, like, nine months. No one ever, right? Okay. Not a single oh. person in this call right now talking oh. to me, Ash. Are you guys going to add a Waygate in Southern Silverlight? Hey, look. No. No? Okay. Nope. Sorry. Um, I just had to ask because it's like the one place on the map that I always make sure to have a castle because it's so inconvenient to just go all the way over there. But Yeah, um, I've, I've definitely heard that. We've definitely, <laughs> we've definitely gotten that feedback before. All right. Um, I, it has been delivered. Uh, I am sure they have a good reason. Um, I guess I should ask them about it sometimes because okay. it does come up pretty occasionally. Yeah, that's fair. I think maybe they consider the North Farbane one to be that, but I, I would agree that it's probably not quite convenient enough. Will horses be able to have inventory slots so that they can act as extra bag space? So, like, you know how the regular no. horses now? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, there was a time where they did that, actually. Um, oh, wow. It was one of the options for sort of expanding inventory. Hmm. Um, but we ended up not doing that. I think because, so when we were playing with that idea was back before Gloomrot, uh, when horses were kind of expendable. Mm -hmm. uh, and it became less of a thing. I think it's a little bit more of a thing and becomes super problematic when now you have the ability to teleport your, your horse around. Uh... And also, I think you could, like, this is more of a PvP concern, I guess, but you could definitely, like, hide loot on it. And then you'd have to have all sorts of weird sort of unintuitive restrictions on what you can have on your magical teleporting horse chest 
and it, it just gets way in the weeds. It's like a lot more trouble than the feature is worth, I think, when you could just sort of do that in other ways. Are you considering adding a fishing well to make it more uh, like viable to fish at your castle? Um, are we considering it? Yes, I think. But are we doing it? I don't think so right now. And are you adding any new emotes? Um, I don't think so. I'm going to be honest. I'm not super familiar with what all the emotes are. I never use them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so if there is a new one, it might surprise me. I think uh, so. That is something that we you, I, I could just say the the idea of dancing. Um, that is something that we've played with. It's something that requires a little bit of uh, sort of finagling to do, uh, especially because like there's a lot of really interesting ways to implement dancing. I think like we played with the idea of having it tied to like the server tick rate, so that um, basically the you would always start on the same beat which means that every time somebody starts dancing, they would be in time with anybody else who is dancing, right. Right. Uh, which would let you sort of dance together. And then there's an idea for like having the vampire have the ability to just sort of like put their hand out and someone else has to accept it. And then you just sort of start dancing together. Uh, wow. These things are all like really cool ideas that take like heck and time to implement and are as of right now are one of those ideas where it's just like, I would love to implement this if I didn't have a ton of other stuff <laughs> that sort of precedes it. There was a while one of our animators was uh, researching ancient dances for a while and was telling me about it. So uh, that was interesting. So are the Castle Hearts still going to be like level five or they're going to go past that in 1.0? I'm not sure. Um, probably still sticking at five. But you know, that, could, that could change. There could be a reason for it to go to six. Speaking of things like the castle, uh, are there going to be any quality of life changes to like removing plants, seeds, and you know, just removing walls and things like that? Because right now we just press and hold space, but it's like really easy to like remove the wrong thing. So, uh, I know exactly what you mean as someone who just spent a lot of time <laughs> doing that. Uh, I I don't think so. I think I think it's going to be the way. It's going to continue to be that way for now. Are you going to add any Steam achievements when 1.0 comes out? Maybe. What about things like garlic stacks? Are they going to be easier to remove? Like, Because right now we just have like the garlic resistance potion, which is, I mean, cool for like resisting. But once you do have the ick, it's kind of hard to like remove yeah, it. Yeah, I understand the yeah. going bare form and waiting for it to go on isn't exactly the most interactable experience. I get that. Uh... I, th I, I don't think so, though. Uh, yeah. I, I think they're, they like the garlic where it is right now. Will you consider uh, ways to upgrade storage instead of like removing and replacing it? So like, let's say you interact with a bookcase that only has like, let's say it only has five slots. And like, mm -hmm. is there a way maybe to like upgrade the station so you don't have to so move that way it? You don't have to pull the stuff out. And... Yeah. Yeah, uh, that would be a cool quality of life feature. Uh, I don't think we're adding that right now, but it would be neat. Okay. Put that on the list. Like, will will tree farms be viable in 1.0? So, like, today if you plant a cursed forest tree, it doesn't give you any ghost rooms, for example. So, mm -hmm. are you considering implementing something like that so that um, tree farms could be more viable? Um, are there any other examples of trees that you wish gave, like, other herbs and I stuff? Think I think I think they give like fish. I think one of them gives fish oil. I can't remember which one. Hollowed. But I think like the, the, the yeah, hollowed gives yeah. like uh, fish oil, etc. But I think the, I'm not sure if it's a loot table issue or not. But when you end up planting and planting them into your base, they don't drop the same. That's it. They just, yeah, they just you just get wood. wood. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. Uh, so. One interesting thing is back in the beta, I think in particular. Uh, cursed forest trees were not giving the proper wood uh, at mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. I think yeah. they were. I think that was bugged. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was intended that they gave other stuff that they just don't give now, because uh, yeah. the the that bugged part was fixed, but not the other part might have gotten yeah. like overlooked. So no, yeah, I made a note of it to yeah, check I, it out. Because I meant because I meant there were quite a few. Uh, no, I mean, quite a few. There were a few uh, loot table issues. You know, like when you throw things into devour and it didn't give you the right items or it gave you more items than it should so i wouldn't be surprised if it was just uh another loot table thing 
you asked earlier about like you know what specific kinds of like drops are we looking at like something i know i would like to see more of is like um the trippy shrooms because they're like really cool like they're purple i like to use them for decorating my castle but it's really hard to get my hands on them the only place they spawn uh, I mean, they're just few and far between and it's not consistent. So is there is there going to be a way that like maybe we can get that uh, from like either a tree or some other plant or something uh, without having to already have the seed? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, this is not in relation to trippy shrooms because I, I don't think this is as much of a concern for trippy shrooms because they're just like for fun. Uh, Wait, and to be fair, yeah. it's a video game, so so oh, is for everything. decorating. But, I mean, because I because I use yeah. it for decorating. So, oh, that's that's cool. Um, I think like in general, like even when it comes to the ghost mushrooms thing, I think like there's a certain amount of automation that's nice to have in the castle. Um, especially as you get later into the game and you sort of get past certain things. Like I'm past going to collect this stuff all the time. I have grown above it. I let my hand servants handle it for me. You know. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I think there's still a certain amount of us wanting players to get out in the world and run into each other. Like not just in PvP and PvE too. Like we want people to see each other. That's part of like the uh, multiplayer experience. Uh, so yeah. So I, I just I just think that's worth uh, considering when thinking about like what we can make available in the castle. I think Trippy Shoes is a good example of something that would be fun to make as available as possible. Yeah, but uh, since we're talking about since since we're talking about trippy shrooms, are you gonna make trippy shroom bombs? <laughs> that was a funny idea. Uh, <laughs> I think that would be really cool. <laughs> Will we get a way to dominate NPCs for blood that we cannot currently imprison? So, like for example, like if we could get an an NPC or someone that we could just milk for uh, mutant blood, creature blood, uh, maybe demon blood, if that's gonna be a thing. I so this is something that I would like to bring up actually internally because I, I know we've brought up the idea before of like you know like animal cages and stuff so you can like hold creatures and I think that might apply to um like mutants as well. Uh, there's a sort of thing that you would need to keep kind of like pretty severely locked up, uh, but they're not they're sort of a lot of them are not really that humanoid, like especially some of the like more creaturey ones. Um, originally, we didn't do animal, like, zoos, like, animal cages, because it felt like there wasn't really enough tied to it to, to make it, like, worth its own slot. Uh, it, or we felt like if we were to do something like that, we would want to do something more significant with it, and we just, like, weren't really sure what that was. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it might be interesting to propose it now that we're going to have multiple like types of bloods that right. could fit in that sort of cage to just have like another sort of cage. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll pitch it. Cool. Cause uh, Jer Jeremy, I'm not sure if you, sorry, I, because I also, I'm not sure surely if you know about some of the settings on V world, et cetera, but one of the things that became very popular with uh, players is the ability to just go to a shop and buy the prisoners. And some of the prisoners there are creature blood or mutant blood or whatever you want. Right. Uh, from a PVE perspective, especially with the additional zone being added, is there any... Okay, longer question, right? There is absolutely no presence of vampires in the game, right? Other than you, like the players, uh, and Night Marshal, and obviously the additional bosses that are coming. Will there be ever, like, will there ever be, like, a hub specifically for vampires or anything like that where you can go and purchase certain items instead of just from human traders? Mm, next question. It's a pretty good question. Uh, when, I, when I hear the humming, it means that he's not going to answer it. It's just like, hmm, <laughs> that wasn't on the list. Why are you what asking I love me? about <laughs> What I love about a lot of questions like this is that they're, very often the answer is something very interesting that is not quite what you asked, <laughs> but I but is similar and I can't quite answer. No, so okay. uh, yeah, just keep yeah keep keep your eyes peeled in the future. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks for taking the time to answer those questions. I mean, I I think I'm done with mine, but uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Uh, I know sometimes, especially right now, when you're asking about like specific things that will or won't be in, I have to be kind of. Uh, vague because there's a lot of things that we're sort of saving to announce and like we sort of want to do like a fun build up to and uh other things that 
we want to present correctly and it, it probably isn't like appropriate for me to just like sort of like mention on the fly uh so i'm sorry if there's any frustration with that uh in general though i just try to explain where we're coming from like how we think about things to give you an idea of like at least give you some confidence that we we have a plan and we are going forward oh yeah i mean it's it's really valuable insight so either way you know it's appreciated awesome thanks uh, uh, Jeremy, before we move on from PV questions, because I just captured like a couple of questions uh, in the in the chat, and then also just more widely on the PVE scene, I think there are two more uh, most popular questions. One is you mentioned cosmetics quite a few times. I think people mm -hmm. in the chat were asking like, what kind of cosmetics will you have? Like dresses? Will you have different armor pieces? Will you have different types of clothing, etc.? Obviously, we know you can change the color. But yeah, can you tell us a bit more about cosmetics? Will will there be transmogs, for example, or is it just like the the sets you wear is the set you have, and you can change its color? Uh, anything else? Right. Yeah. So the way that works right now, uh, just to give a comprehensive answer, because that's just like easier uh, for anybody who has multiple questions about how the system works. Uh, that's listening right now. Uh, it's like um, basically there's a you have your armor. And you have like a sort of little little box where you can select each individual piece of armor and change the color palette on it. And we have certain color palettes uh, set up. Uh, we've tweaked them a bunch even since the last dev blog where we showed some of them. And basically, those colors are uh, generally mapped to certain parts of the armor. Like there's, we very intentionally tried to give you a bunch of like sort of neutral color options, but like with different metals, like the metal on the the shoulder part of the uh the sanguine set uh yeah. you know that like spiky shoulder like you have the option specifically to go through and have a pretty neutral middle but also have like a golden pauldron a silver pauldron a black pauldron a red pauldron you know uh do all those sort of fantasies and then like so in general the metal will be tied to something and then uh the accents will be tied to another thing and like the main bulk of the color is tied to another thing and we tried to make them all look pretty clean uh but also serve like a wide variety of different fantasies uh, but on top of that, you've got a, a slot in each individual piece of armor that lets you essentially put another piece of armor in there. And that's going to be your actual armor appearance. And then you can mess with the color on that. So, uh, and that stays there even when you switch out other pieces uh, in your main slot. So what your stats are is one piece and then your, other, your appearance is your other piece. Um, yeah. When it comes to transmogs that are outside of the available armors, uh, and there's going to be a lot more available armors, so you're going to have a lot more options, uh, especially like some that some more magicy ones, like edge towards being kind of gowny, you know, poofy, sleevey. Yeah. Um, but uh, in terms of just like straight up like ball ground, ball gown, black dress sort of thing, uh, there's yeah. nothing like that, uh, okay. or like a tuxedo. There's nothing like that, uh, but. It's not because we don't want to. Uh, it's because uh, we we just didn't have time. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, in the future, I would not at all be surprised if we get that. Okay. Cool. Great. Uh, Jeremy, before we go to PvP questions, etc., there's a there's one question that like uh, on the Varina Discord has been like mentioned multiple times. I should tell you. So for example, right now you're looking at the uh, V World stream. I think we have like 120 players online, and the server is still holding. Pray for it before it explodes. Right. I don't know, but like the FPS is fine, etc. But I think you mentioned that. Um, no, not I think we know that we've talked multiple times about uh, the new engine, very specifically because people call it the new engine. It's not a new engine, right? It's a new version that you're yeah, it's moving from updated the experimental. Version. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's DOS one point one, and you're moving from the experimental version to the full release. I think yes. that's basically okay. Cool. So. Before I go to the question, just wanted to confirm something. The PS5 trailer, which is a nice trailer, uh, is that filmed on the new engine? Because it looks smoother than the base game. And I'm not sure if that's editing or if that's the new engine slash the um, new version. Yeah. I, yeah, OK. Uh, specifically, that trailer uh, is sort of a, a, a special case. Um, because uh, it is filmed for a uh, console. So uh, it, it's on a sort of uh, sort of special build that we did to okay. make it like as faithful to console as it could be. Uh, it is on the new engine, um, but it's not the sort of 
PC version okay. that you'll be experiencing. Um, okay. If you're playing on PC. Right, um, but 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 we're not going insane, right? Like it looks, it feels slightly different than the base game, right? The so fact that it, <laughs> the fact that it yeah. looks smoother than the current thing uh, is should say a lot about how smooth it's actually going to be, because <laughs> okay. that that okay. version is like not. Uh, that is not um, okay. as optimized as we want it to be. So okay. uh, it's going to be better than that, I think. Yeah. Right. And can you, like, have you, you might not have, like, the exact, like, technical specs, et cetera, but, like, what can you tell us about the enhanced performance? Like, have you looked at server FPS or have you looked at any, like, sort of stats to say, like, you know, this we is how it is? We have looked at, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, like, um, I've seen like a whole presentation on on what we've done uh, to yeah. to get this uh, to get this going, and uh, the sort of uh, what the tech team has been up to and and the sort of effort they put into it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't give specific numbers, um, but I will say, um, and it's a little weird because you know it's the entirely like rewritten version of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then compared to our current version, uh, so it had to be optimized up to where we are now and then beyond that. Um, but I will say that compared to what we have now, uh, it should be really good. Uh, okay. It should be like a huge improvement, um, especially in server performance. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'll ask one question about that and I'll understand if you can't answer it. Uh, like I said, like, you know, we've spoken a lot about. Um, getting the best machines to host vRising and no matter what, it's basically clocked to one core, right? Like of the CPU, mm -hmm. et cetera. Yes. Will will you have multi-threading and multi-core kind of like CPU yes. functionality for okay. Which is the biggest, yeah. by uh, the way, that's for everyone's context, that's one of the biggest blockers for the game right now, other than memory leak, that's probably the biggest blocker uh, for performance, I think. I would say. But yeah. Yeah, it's um it it is a, it was a huge blocker for us in terms of performance. Uh, and uh, we, so I'm always hesitant to say that we are going to do something before we have actually done it. Uh, even though we really think we're going to do it, you know, there's always the chance that some meteoric disaster will happen that you can't do it. And in game dev, you just have to adjust and find other ways to to make it happen. Um, so when it comes to giving like specific details like that, you will notice, you know, I'm, I'm a little dodgy, but that's only because I don't want to lie to you. Uh, I want to be as honest as I possibly can. So uh, to that extent, uh, I'm pretty sure we have, we do do that now. Um, will you be adding any other events such as the Blood Moon? Because right now the Blood Moon is like kind of the only event, you know, that happens mm. on a... Are there anything? Uh, is there? Are there any other events that are being added? Will the blood moon be changed? Will it have some sort of other element that comes with it? Uh, yeah, and that was the blood question. moon's still there. Okay. I when you say other events, uh, it really depends on what you mean by that. <laughs> when well, like, what are you thinking of when you say other events? No, like for example, instead of like I don't know, uh, instead of like a rain blood or... moon, like a like a hallowed rain or something, you know. And you can if you yeah. walk outside, then I don't know, it's holy rain. I, I, yeah, like other just sort of like regular cycling, yeah. Yeah. like weather events or uh, astral yeah. events or yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think we're adding any more of those right now, but I definitely don't think that's off the table. I actually think like. This is just off the rip me riffing, but I think it would be really cool if we did some sort of like, okay. you know, themed update with a new area or something. And it was like werewolf themed or something. And we had like a werewolf moon added, you know, stuff like that. Like that would be really yeah. cool. Uh, or if there were like seasonal events that involved that, I think that would be cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So nothing right now, but it's definitely not off the table for the future. Cool. Uh, and can you tell us anything more about invasions in terms of, I think, in the last dev block, not the last dev block, sorry, in a few dev blocks ago, there were, obviously, you would expect a lot of questions about, like, the, the demonic invasions or succubus invasions, et cetera, and lots of that. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about it? Like, are those invasions only in the in the final zone, or are they in other zones as well? Uh, how would they work? Um, what's the benefit from participating in them? Uh, things like that. Um, can't talk about that right now. Yeah, okay. unfortunately. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'm just being fair to the chat and like asking the questions that were mentioned. Uh, so yeah, no, no, totally. But... Ask anything. Uh, I'll just be honest if I if I can't talk about something yet. Yeah. Cool. 
Uh, I think that covers most of the questions, both in the chat and on our list, unless uh, Sholu and um, Grim, if you had any other questions uh, that you wanted to cover really quickly, because, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'm good. I, I did see one early on uh, that was around the PS5 release, but I, I can't seem to find it. So unfortunately, whoever asked that one, I do apologize. I, I can't find it in the chat. Uh, but I guess I'm good on my end. Um, if I could guess, uh, PS5 release currently slated for 2024. Uh, I uh, cannot get any more specific than that. Uh, controller support is coming with 1.0. Uh, so it, yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, that that support is coming separate from the uh, PS5 release. Will you introduce color coding to the chat? So, for example, if you type slash W slash whisper, it automatically switched to pink before you send the chat. So you make sure you're, you know, the command is set up. Oh, um, I, I mean, I don't think we are, but I'll make a note. Cool. Awesome. One, one last thing I wanted to ask that I completely forgot about. Um, so the uh, kissing sticks screenshot was fake. It was, it was. Just <laughs> Oh man, no, I'm kidding. That's not... <laughs> so I've noticed that when you place down uh, fencing versus castle walls, the interaction is not the same. So like, for example, if I'm replacing a solid, you know, castle wall with like one with a window, it just overwrites mm -hmm. it. Currently, that doesn't work the same way with garden fencing. Is there, is that going to eventually be changed to be just as consistent or is there like a technical reason why that's not the case uh i think the the like type of object fences are is, is different than walls walls are kind of like a little bit unique in that way um but if it feels better to do it the wall way i think like finding a way to do the fences that way as well would be a good quality of life change let me know what you guys think of all this new information. Uh, keep an eye out for part two of the video. It should be coming out soon or later this week. And uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Shilo Q. I am a Shilo Eats Quaintly, Reaper, and Guide to the Underworld. Um, I stream three times a week, usually on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 5 o'clock p.m. PST. I tend to stream V Rising on Thursdays though, so if you're out looking for that, feel free to tune in and say hello. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, Shallow out.